Linda here from Ed and Linda. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, actually, it's just me in the car today. We're talking about what to do when you meet a new prospective client. Now, this information is good for um, us when we go and do a listing appointment. Um, the first thing you do is you meet somebody, you need to know how to meet them properly. This information can be used for, you know, meeting people for a sales call or in general, just meeting people. Now, before we go into it, though, um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and to ring that bell so that we can keep bringing good content like this to you. The first thing, when you meet someone, just be yourself. You don't have to be anybody but you. There is a lot about you that's likable. I'm sure of that. And if you're not sure of that, ask someone that you're close to. Ask your, you know, your friend or, you know, your, your husband or wife. Ask them, what is the most dominant, likable quality about me? And whatever that is, expound on that. See? And that's what you want other people to see about you. Just be yourself. You are likable. The second thing is to be interested in other people. So when we meet someone for the first time, we never want to do all the talking. Nobody wants to be around someone that does all the talking and knows everything there is to know. No, we want to be the person that sits back and listens. See, the only way we can learn something about other people is to listen. We need to listen to them. But now we want to be genuinely interested, not be interested just, you know, long enough for them to finish a sentence and then we jump right in there. No, be interested in what they have to say. Ask them a question about themselves, about something that they've just mentioned to you and be genuinely interested in them. It's okay to care about them. You know, sometimes people are so afraid to care because they're so afraid to be rejected for one reason or another. Believe me, I know that feeling well. That used to be me. But everybody wants to be cared about, just like you. You want people to care about what you have to say. So extend that courtesy to a prospective client and you will find that you'll there'll be a connection between the two of you. The third thing is find out what you have in common. Um, surely as you talk and as you listen, there's something you can connect with them. Perhaps both of you like golfing or, you know, perhaps both of you like uh, art. You can talk about that connection. You know, perhaps they have art pieces in their home. I know I've been to homes and, and I'd see a piece and I'd say, oh, that's made by this artist. And they're, you know, they're happy to see that I like what they like. So find a connection between you and the other person. And if you do that, then that's a basis even for staying in touch. They will not forget you. You know, then if you find that there's a new art piece that came out, then you can send them a text and say, hey, did you see this new piece of art that came out? It's a way that you can stay in touch with them. See, then they will be loyal to you from that point forward. And then the last but not least, um, when you tell them that you have something to offer, deliver that. You know, so first you want to find out what it is they need so that you can fill a need. You're there to fill their need. They're not there to fill yours. You are there to fill their need. So as they talk, you listen and you can make mental notes of how you can fill a need of theirs. And so once you find out what it is, then deliver on that, you know, and if you're not quite sure, clarify, ask them. So what is it that um, exactly what can I do for you today? You know, and then once you find out, make sure you give them a quality product in a timely manner, because truth be told, a lot of people will pay for quality you know, um, rather than spend their time trying to do the same thing. So bring them a quality product and they'll be willing to pay you what you're worth. Those are the just basic rules of what to do when you first meet a client. If you do those things, they'll be loyal to you for now until never. They will know that I can call Linda and she will find out what it is I need and she'll deliver on that. So. I'm sure this information will help you when you meet your first client. And so you don't miss the next thing we have to share with you. Then subscribe and ring that bell. And we'll see you next time. Ta-ta.